Well, it's finally time to do something that I've been putting off for a long time, and that is adding more storage to my Home Assistant Yellow. Right now, my storage is almost at maximum, which is preventing me from doing some upgrades. It slows the system down, and eventually it's probably gonna lock up and die and all this other stuff. So today we're gonna to go into the Home Assistant Yellow. We're gonna add a new NVMe drive to it, expand the storage, and then we're gonna move our data disk over. So let's get started. So before we get into this video, I wanna just say that this is not a hard thing to do. Adding an NVMe drive to Home Assistant and moving the data disk is pretty simple. In fact, it's probably not worth a video. However, you know, sometimes some people don't quite understand the process or they are scared to do it. So hopefully today the video will show you that it is super simple. In fact, you don't even need any tools because of the way the Home Assistant Yellow is designed. So let's go ahead and get into the Home Assistant Yellow and get the drive added. And then we'll come back here and we will work on moving the data disk. All right, so let's take into our Home Assistant Yellow here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take it apart. And you can see here that they make it easy. You have these four thumb screws, so you don't have to have any tools to take this apart initially. So let's just take those out for now. Make it really easy to work on this. Okay, and we're gonna just take the cover off, just like that. And then we're going to Flip it over and we're gonna slide out the whole Home Assistant Yellow and there it is. That's our Home Assistant Yellow there. And you can see here that we have a missing M.2. It's not missing, it just wasn't in there before. And so what we're gonna do is take our new M.2 and we're gonna place it in our drive or in our M.2 slot, except first we need to take out this little connector right here because this little connector will be in the way. Don't lose those parts because you're gonna need this little copper brass nut, I guess it is. Stick this in at about a 30 degree angle. Make sure it's in there all the way. And then we will hold this in place. Oops, let's put it back. Hold that in place and we will put the screw in from the other side. And this is where you'll need one little screwdriver. So let me get it in there and then we'll take our screwdriver and we will just screw that in. Well, I think we will. Okay, make sure it's not too tight, but tight enough to hold it in place. And so now you have your M.2 in there. All right, that's all you have to do for that. And then we will put it back in the case like so. We've got these little buttons here that you have to line up with the case. So just slide it in there like that. And then you'll see that the buttons are sticking out right here. And then we'll just put the top back on like so. And then we just put in our four thumb screws. like so. And now our M.2 is installed, but it is actually not ready to use yet. It won't do anything until we actually move the data disk. So what we'll do now is we'll go over to Home Assistant once we get this plugged back in and turned back on, and we will move our data disk over to the new M.2 NVMe drive. Before we get started moving that data disk, some of you are probably asking what in the world is a Home Assistant Yellow? A Home Assistant Yellow is a device designed by the Home Assistant team, and it allows you to build out your Home Assistant server device and configure it the way you want to. In my case, I ended up with a Home Assistant Yellow that has a gigabit ethernet port, has the Zigbee module. It does have an expansion slot, but I didn't have anything in that slot and the compute module, the CM4 compute module is on there. The compute module is where everything is stored at the moment. And you can configure these to do a bunch of different things based on how you wanna set them up. There's the uh, operating system and user data on the CM4. That's basically the way I'm operating now. You can do user data to the NVMe SSD, which is what we're gonna do next. And then there's other options you can do to, to, uh, to build out your Home Assistant Yellow. 
All right, now we have the MVME installed in the Home Assistant Yellow. We need to go and set it so it can use it as the data disk. And in order to do that, first thing I like to do is I like to check the hardware and make sure that it's actually showing as a drive in Home, in, uh, in Home Assistant. So we'll go to the overflow right here and we'll look at all hardware and we'll scroll down until we find what we think is the NVMe, which is this one right here. So it does recognize the M NVMe drive that we just installed into the Home Assistant Yellow. All right, that's good. So now we can go over to our storage and I'm using the C key, by the way, I'm just hitting C and it gives you a shortcut to be able to pull up these different navigation areas. So I'm going to navigate to storage and you can see that we're at 86% of our used space. Now in order to migrate over to the NVMe for the data disk, and remember we're not booting, we're just using this as the data disk for Home Assistant. We'll click on the three dots and we'll click on move data disk over here. And it's asking to move the MMC block P or zero P8 um, to something else. And we'll be able to select which one we want. And if you just remember from a minute ago, we looked at the hardware, we have this NVMe zero N1 and that's the disk we wanna use. All you have to do is select it and then you hit the move button here and then it will reboot and it will move everything over to the new data disk. And we'll give it some time to do that and we'll come back in just a moment. So for those of you that were watching the intro to my video and I had that box of uh, MVME and I had this, uh, this Western Digital SN770, this was the NVME that I originally put in and it did not work. And there is actually an issue with the NVME uh, and the, the CM4 module. And if we take a look over here, you can see here that there are some uh, issues with some of the drives. Yellow has an M.2 M key connector, which technically supports any NVMe SSD with the M keying and the length of these different links here. And I have the 2280. The Raspberry Pi CM4 has a single lane PCI 2.0. PCI is backwards compatible. Uh, the NVMe SSD supporting a newer generation of PCIe or more supporting multiple lanes should generally work. So like Samsung, the 970s, Evo Plus, et cetera, should work fine. Since the CM4 has limited connectivity, a high-end NVMe is not required. Typically the low cost version, and that's what I have. I have actually a cheaper version than this Western Digital that I just tried to use. I have, a, uh, I have actually what I'm using now is this, um, I don't know what even brand this is, SP M.2, whatever. I'm using that one. But you can see here that we have um, some identifiable not working version or not working NVMEs. And this one is the one actually that I purchased originally. So that's why I had to switch over to the new NVME. Um, they're trying to figure out why, but there's a long discussion here on this uh, thread, this GitHub issue. And if you really want to go through it, it talks about a lot of discussion, how PCIe works, and NVME works, why uh, they think it's not working and all that. So I'll link all that down below in the description if you're interested in looking that up and getting into the technical details of why certain NVMEs don't work. And it's not just the, Pi, uh, the Home Assistant Yellow, it is also the CM4 module and other platforms that are having a problem with these specific drives. So anyway, that's why we had to do that. So again, we're still waiting for the Home Assistant Yellow to come back after moving the data disk. And when that happens, I will see you on the other side. It took about five minutes for this to migrate over. So we'll see in a minute here, once it's all back up and running, we'll see how much space we have left over up here. It should be a lot of extra space. The NVMe that I put in is actually a 512 gigabyte drive. It isn't needed for Home Assistant to run that much. Uh, the EMM or the uh, CM4 had 16 gigabytes on it. So I'm really increasing the storage. It just turns out that that was the device that was available when I ordered it. And it was probably one of the cheaper ones compared to the, some of the smaller ones that were more expensive. And I don't need a high-end NVMe drive to go into Home Assistant. I'm not doing things with it that require the higher-end capabilities uh, for NVMe. So anyway, we are back up and running. Let's just refresh this page and see what kind of space that we have available to us now. And now we see our used space is only 2.5% when it was 80 to 90% before. 
Some of the issues I had, as I mentioned earlier, were that I was not able to do upgrades on some of the uh, things in Home Assistant because there wasn't enough, enough space to download it, decompress, whatever it needs to do. And that was causing a problem. Plus, it was taking a long time to do updates because I think I was doing a lot of swapping between the drive and memory and everything else because there wasn't enough space. So now we have a lot of used space, or a lot of available space, and a lot less used space. So it's a very simple process to do this. You just have to make sure you get the right NVMe that's compatible with the CM4 module. It's not, again, not necessarily a Home Assistant yellow issue. It is a CM4 uh, compatibility issue with some of those drives. Uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I just wanted to show you an easy uh, thing to do with Home Assistant. Some of the stuff is more complicated. This is just one of those easier things. And it might help some of y'all that want to do a upgrade or add some extra stuff to your Home Assistant Yellow, show you how easy it is to do it and not be afraid to jump in and get your hands dirty. Uh, thank you for watching. If you are a channel member, I really appreciate you uh, joining the channel and helping support what I do here. Um, and if you need anything else, I'm on Discord as well and all the other social stuff. And we will see you on the next video.